This is D, and let's dress for life. That's what's up. This video is presented directly to the African American woman, the African woman, the Afro Caribbean woman, the black woman. Without her, there is no black child. Without her, there is no black man. Without her, there is no black community. This is a story of a sister who went through some serious trials, but she shared this story because she wanted me to make sure that I talk with my queen about this. Also, my my other sisters about this thing, not, not my other sisters, but you know, my sisters <laughs> about, about this. And she agreed that she would like to be recorded so that her story can go much further than just um just my little circle if you find this beneficial i really encourage you to like subscribe comment share also click the notification bell if you, you'd like to be notified of our next video and of course go to www.destressmethod.com for more resource information now let's get into our story Could you tell us just a little bit about yourself um well i am a licensed clinical social worker and been working um in the field for like 14 years now. Was actually working um, in a behavioral health hospital before my life changed to where it is now. It was June 11th when I first uh, went to the emergency room. Um, just thinking I had uh, shortness of breath and some chest pain and um, had some other symptoms right before that, but um, I had been in actually to the doctor several times for months. Each time I presented, uh, I got sent back home. From uh, February to June? Yes. Mm. Yeah. So um, it actually started off with me a couple weeks after a car accident. The whole uh, right side of my body was swollen. Mm. Um, the pain centralized in my knee, and they began to just kind of treat that, that pain in my knee. Started doing physical therapy and that kind of thing. Actually, I was, it was things were getting better. Okay. Um, but for me, I recognized that I had too much inflammation in my body. So you were you were aware of your body, although the phys physical therapist wasn't seeing it, although the doctor wasn't seeing it. You were in tune with your body enough to realize that there's still something that's not right. That's right. Yes, that's correct. So okay, I did the physical therapy. Um, I was getting uh, better with the knee. But as I continued to um, work long hours and, and I would admit not eating right, you know, many days I didn't eat well. Um, and so as I continued along that, I started to feel really um, more tired um, and started to, as I would go up the steps in my home, um, feel out of breath and started having uh, various uh, chest pains. What were long hours for you? Five days a week, 14 hours a day. Um, yeah, that was a lot. A few hours on a Sunday. Um, I rest on uh, Saturday. So and that would be my uh, sunset. Friday and sunset, Saturday would be my rest, and then I'd be back at it. But it never seemed like there was enough, like not things didn't get done, but I, and I just had to do it kind of thing, attitude. So t task oriented, driven, yes. um, stressed. Right. What would your diet be like? Occasionally, I would get you know I try to eat healthy meals, um, but a lot of a lot of days, you know I wouldn't eat until I uh, got off of work, and it could be you know nine ten o'clock, um, and uh, many days I pretty much always ate at my desk. Mm. Um, you know, didn't sit down to relax and eat ever. You know, eat on the run all the time. And then, you know, you give in to running by the fast food place or something. Because you know. it's quick, yes. convenient. We didn't have to cook yeah. it. It was just there. Yes. Um, yeah. So I did too much of that. Again, I did try occasionally to eat, you know, grab healthy food and take it to uh, work and eat that. But um, I just even when I had healthy food, I didn't, you know, uh, eat well. That being, you know, eating on the run all the time. So, right, eating on the run all the time, running all the time. Yes. And where was exercise in your routine? 
routine. I wasn't doing much exercise. No. You have 14 hour days, how can you? There was no time to yeah. do that. The exercise is going up those steps. Mm -hmm. And when that got hard, you mm -hmm. know, like I still had to do it because that's where I sleep. But, mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, it got to the point where even that was, was uh, got to be too much for me. Tell me how your family history was as far right. as. Right, right. So I have a strong family history of, uh, of heart disease um, to the point, uh, as I mentioned earlier, all of my mother's family, uh, except one person, and including my mother, have passed away from from heart disease. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So it was it was even more. So 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 the stressors that are were affecting you hit you even harder. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you went to the doctors, yeah, you said from February till June. Yes. Uh, they just they just weren't feeling it. They weren't they weren't seeing anything. Tell me about that. Well, um, as far as the swelling, they couldn't. You know, they they saw that it was that the right side of my body was swollen. They couldn't tell me why. Um, and uh, one particular time, they were like, I heard about you know putting your feet up as you sleep. And, I mean, yeah, as you rest, put your feet up where you're sitting down, and you know get some of the inflammation out, whatever from. Mm -hmm coming down so I did that um, and I fell asleep onto my uh, left side and then um, and then all this inflammation kind of went over to my left side and I couldn't lift my arm or move it at all and so I went in and they did an EKG you know said I didn't see anything quarters of a mile. pressed down really hard on my chest and said oh that must be you know if you uh, did, did that hurt I was like yeah that hurts because you pressed down so hard on my <laughs> chest <laughs> yes that hurts um and then they said well that's just a muscle thing uh, there's mm. not you know and sent me home oh wow yeah and I continue to get um I t continue to be out of breath going up the steps mm. and I would get just like out of energy like I get to a certain place during the day, at the end of the day, or sometimes even in the middle of the day, I just be totally just no energy to, to do things. Um, so the problem progressed. I went into the emergency room in the ER several times. Again, they would do the EKG and say that there's not, you know, they didn't see anything. You can't see blocked arteries with an EKG. That can't, okay. that's not how you detect, that's not how you see that. It was, the se it was actually the second stress test, the lying down one where um, when I was actively having a heart attack during mm -hmm. that is when they saw uh, the blockage there. Wow. So um, so the first stress test didn't show anything. It showed, they, they saw, they said, oh, we see a little something there. If you want to, you can take blood thinners. Turn right onto Route 31. And I was like, well, you know, why is there an option? Like, <laughs> why mm -hmm. would I be taking that? What's wrong with me? They had no answers for that. I had a day where I couldn't, um, I couldn't really get to work even. I took that same that day off, and that was the day that I had that final uh, stress test. Um, I, I uh, the day before, uh, the day of that test, I couldn't go to work. I went into the test. I was late getting there. When I finished the test, I couldn't even get up to walk out. I just walked into the um, waiting room and sat down because I was having those chest pains and short of breath. And um, finally waited there and then. Just, took myself home and went straight back to bed. It was the next day that they told me that um, you know, we saw this on your stress test. We need you to go take these three medications. Go get these three medications from the um, pharmacy. I said, okay. I said, but I'm still having this chest pain. Mm -hmm. um, and said, I can't, I can't catch my breath. You know, um, I've taken the inhaler, I've drank lots of water, I've taken these painkillers, none of this is helping me. Yeah, ain't doing nothing. And, yeah, and then they said, well, you need to get to the ER. Can you please talk about the goodness of God as far as your situation? If I had gone in sooner, um, like earlier in the spring or winter, I actually would not have had the uh, FMLA, a uh, family leave. Um, protection or the um, uh, short-term disability. The blessing in that is that I wasn't eligible for that. Oh, so you weren't eligible for it um, until uh, until late in May. Oh. So if I had gone in before that with my heart problems, I would have been uh, really hurt. So, wow. so I okay. praise God for the timing. You know, it seems uh, it seems a little off. Um, I don't know 
what God was doing, but yeah. I praise him for that, for uh, working that out uh, so in he, the time that he did. What advice would you give, just general life advice would you give anybody, number one, and number two, what advice would you give an African American woman um, who is living the stress life? I think that it's very important um, to uh, to not make everything so important. Like things, you gotta let some things go. Um, it's nothing more important. You can't help anyone else if you're gone. There you right. go. There um, you go. Yeah. And I, and I want to say an um, important piece also here is pay attention to family history, but also um, to African American females, like uh, you know, to remind your your care providers that um, this these heart conditions cannot be seen by normal testing that is done um, for everyone else. You have to be insistent with. Um, the need for more and um and keep asking until uh, until it happens and, and remind That's people true. that your um that your makeup your body whatever doesn't present the same way um mm-hmm. and you need to see something you need they need to look further um the overall life advice is um, um whatever you're going to do to get right with god whatever you're going to do to take care of your health whatever you're going to do to love your family more do that now do it now do it now Thank you so very much, sis. Okay? Blessings. You're very welcome. Thank you.